Hi and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this week's episode, Jenny's quick dealer repair takes two months to fix. After the garage, I had my van in to do a to take the timing case off. Uh, they didn't change the crankshaft oil seal, which I was absolutely amazed about because you can't get the crankcase back in exactly the same position as what you took it out so you need to change the crankshaft oil seal so they didn't do it I made them change it free of charge because it was just leaking oil all over the place in this week's video it's a two-parter I'd sent my vehicle in to be repaired by professionals paid them 75 pounds an hour plus VAT get the vehicle back and I'm not happy at all that you're about to see I have just seen something and I am incensed and I must apologize I'll try and beep it all out now I sent my ambulance in to have a timing to have a timing chain done and at the same time I turned around and said since you're going to drop the engine you might as well change clutch well they didn't do they didn't drop the engine anyway but this is what I found, right? It's been in and out of the same place. They've had to redo work because of oil leaks and everything else. And this is the reason why I don't like other people working on my motor. I thought to myself, I'm getting long in the tooth now. I um, I should get get somebody else to do it. But but God, I wish I hadn't. So first of all. This is the thermostat, and this is the, um, sorry, I'm shaking. And this is the thermostat uh, sensor. So if this breaks uh, or you get open circuit, your cooling fan will be on all the time, even when you first start it. And um, that was what made me start investigating. So that was the first thing, and that's all because when they drop the engine down, the CV hits this. So what happens is the engine swings forward and drops down. And when this happens, the engine pivots, and this rams into here and breaks it. All you have to do, all you have to do is take the radiator, lift the radiator up, right? Take, take it out the big peg that's in there. Now you've got shit loads of room. Right, I'm not a professional mechanic. How come I realised this? Then they did. Now, the other thing what's happened is, see if I can zoom in on it, there we go. Right, so the other thing what's happened is, is I've sent it in to have a timing chain done, which they've done. Now, they've turned around and told me that this plastic thing here, all, all of this is all plastic, Right, obviously this is metal back here and the timing chain's behind it. But this, this has a diaphragm in it. And that goes, that's your crankcase. And that goes into the inlet side of your air intake. That's the reason why when you take the intake of your turbo pipes off, you'll have oil in there. Um, and it comes from here. Anyway, m apparently mine was damaged, mm -hmm. needed a new diaphragm. So they did the timing chain had to go on back order and it had to go back in for this but what really pissed me off you see this bracket here a this isn't secured this uh sorry there's a plastic bit here right and that is supposed to be in this hole right and they've obviously loosened this bracket off so that they can access this properly right fine no problem at all loosen the bracket off but do the thing up right so now so now this bracket, this steel bracket, you're swinging around in the wind, you know, whacking into this brand new plastic part that, that I've got. God, that pisses me off. It really does. Off. And yeah, the insult into injury, they didn't secure the pipe back. So now I've had to take off the grill, the backing grill, the air intake which is basically the slam panel for the bonnet. Yeah, I had to take it all off, the inner wheel arch. Where's the other bit? Oh, it's underneath there. To the undershield, just so I can tighten that bracket up. This is a reason why it is 
very very useful if you do your own work this is the turbo this is the intercooler pipe this comes from off to the intercooler and then goes off to the air intake for the engine now something's been rubbing on it so and this is the reason if that had gone through that would stop my engine from running thanks for watching my channel please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe it's completely free